I told my wife I'd really like to take us on a vacation, but she said just like how I don't have a big schlong, I also don't have enough money, and now I want a divorce. Posted by you slash level bits. My wife, 34F, and I, 34M, have been married for 8 years, and we have a 5-year-old son. Over the past few months, my wife and I have occasionally been having arguments about finances. The main argument is that I want to take our family on a vacation to a different state, but my wife wants to save up so we can travel abroad next year. Last month, my wife and I were arguing about this again. I was telling her a vacation would be really good for our family and our son. We talked back and forth, and I could sense my wife was getting exasperated, but I stood my ground. I told her we could take a vacation now and still go abroad next year. My wife just lost her cool and said that the finances made that impractical and that she also wished I had a bigger schlong, but in life, we don't always get what we want. That stung me. I am aware I have an average size thing downstairs, but I've never had any complaints about it until now, and to hear it from my wife just numbed me. I then checked out of the conversation, and my wife instantly apologized after she said that. I told her it was okay, and I then went to sleep. From the next day on, however, I distanced myself from my wife and just focused on work and my son. My wife tried to initiate conversations and apologize multiple times, and I usually just ignored her or told her to let it go. I also started eating out as I did not want to eat my wife's dinner. My wife initiated bedroom intimacy one night, and I told her to get off me. My birthday was a few days ago, and I ignored my wife when she wished me or when she tried to kiss me. We didn't do anything for my birthday, and when my wife gave me a gift packaged with a handwritten letter, I told her to return it. I have no idea what the gift was or what was written in the letter, and I don't really care. I am at my limit now, and I know this is not healthy or sustainable, so I have seriously started considering divorce. But I also wanted to get an opinion from the people I trust most in the world, my two siblings. My brother thinks I should at least consider marriage counseling before proceeding with divorce, as he doesn't think this is worth jumping straight to divorce over. My sister has the opposite opinion and thinks I am still young and fit and have a long life ahead of me, and it should be very easy for me to find someone who's much more beautiful than my wife, both on the exterior and the interior. Am I the jerk for checking out of my relationship and considering divorce? You slash happy underscore accident 99. That was a cruel comment, but Reddit totally blows my mind sometimes. You and most commenters are going to throw away an entire eight-year marriage because of one sentence uttered by your partner during an argument? Clearly, counseling is needed on the root issue, like why you both have frequent arguments over finances, but divorcing over one sentence is an incredible overreaction. Please slow down, have a heart-to-heart with your wife, and figure out how to move forward. You slash otherwise underscore trust underscore 1945. Dude, I'm really sorry. As an average-sized guy who is still self-conscious about it, I can imagine how much that hurt. It seems like when a woman wants to really insult a man, she goes straight to the small buddy remarks. It was a total jerk move on her part. With that being said, and I say this with no other motive than trying to help you, you're kinda acting like a child. Yeah, it hurt and still does. Yeah, it was a low blow and probably makes you question your value in this marriage, but she is obviously very sorry. Giving her the silent treatment perpetually, refusing her gift, and not even bothering to read her letter are not the behaviors of a grown man. Sit her down and honestly tell her how much her words hurt you. Tell her everything you feel, but you have to be willing to give her a chance. Running straight to the divorce route without even trying to work things out is more than hasty. Update 1. Having read a few comments, I will proceed with marriage counseling as my brother recommended before jumping straight to divorce. I will try to save our marriage for my son and see if marriage counseling can help fix our relationship. I opened up to my wife last night for the first time in almost a month. I told her that what she said made me feel worthless and insecure, and while she was beautiful on the outside, I never realized how ugly she was on the inside. I told her I feel trapped in this marriage, that I've completely lost feelings for her, and when I see her, I feel nothing, no love, no hate, just indifference and a desire to be left alone. I told her I could maybe understand her comment if we had only been dating for a year or two. But to do this to someone you've been married to for almost a decade, someone who was open and vulnerable with you, and then to use those vulnerabilities and insecurities as a weapon to hurt him, was just horrible. I said a lot more things that I don't remember, as I was a bit emotional, and I probably didn't mean many of the things I said, but I just wanted to get it off my chest. I felt a bit relieved after I finished talking, like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders. When I was finished talking, my wife apologized again and said she was hoping marriage counseling could fix our marriage too. She then started crying really badly, which made me feel bad, and I consoled her. It's the first time in a month I've felt anything for my wife. She tried to kiss me, but I told her I still needed some space, and I continued to console her as she was very emotional. You slash sketch Brooke. Op, hold the phone. You were ready for divorce because your wife made a cruel comment in the heat of the moment, but you admit here that you did the same thing? Saying things you don't mean when you're upset? What have you previously said to her in arguments like this? You conveniently don't remember anything you said here. But have you ever made cruel personal remarks designed to hurt her the way the small schlong comment hurt you? I'm not saying this to excuse what she said or blame you, but this is clearly a pattern you both participate in. Counseling is the right choice, and I'm glad you had the maturity to listen to your brother and give it a shot. 
I just hope you'll have a realization about your role in this unhealthy dance. You slash some web 2362. Not only did you forget what you said to your wife out of anger, you painted a victim narrative when you flat out admitted to saying hurtful things in the heat of the moment because it felt good. So why do you get to punish your wife for over a month because of it? This is hypocritical at its finest. You want to spend money you don't have on a vacation. You sound dense. Op, your wife wants to save up for a vacation. That's the only reasonable choice. You have a kid who's relying on their parents to make responsible financial decisions instead of being careless. Yeah, it's crappy your wife made a comment about wishing you had a bigger thing, but clearly, yours isn't an issue because she's still married to you. Anyway, you get to degrade her entire character by saying she's ugly on the inside, but you get to cry about her talking about enhancing a physical trait. Both of you need to recognize the harmful ways you're communicating and address these issues constructively. Counseling is the right step, but it has to come with genuine efforts to understand and change your behavior patterns. You slash Winterchill 2020. This marriage is doomed, and it's not entirely on your wife. You both have issues, but at least she apologizes and makes an effort. You, on the other hand, went nuclear over her crappy comment, dragged it out for a month, and still need time. Meanwhile, you basically admit to saying stuff you didn't mean because it felt good. Surely, you cannot be this dumb. So it's okay for you to say hurtful things, punish your wife for a month, and still act like a professional victim. I feel so bad for your five-year-old. The fact that you gloss over your own role in the original argument and curate the post to make yourself look as good as possible, and still fail at that, says a lot. Even marriage counseling isn't going to work because you clearly don't want it to. You wanted the chance to hurt her like she hurt you, and you took it. There are no winners here.